Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel, and this video will be a walkthrough guide where I will show you how to acquire the unique weapon, the Furious Power Fist, or as I like to call it, Friday Night's Fun. To acquire this weapon we need to come to Swan's Pond, which can be found in the Zone Boston Common. On the Pip-Boy map, Diamond City is here, and Swan's Pond is here, to the east northeast of Diamond City. Once here we will be working quite closely with a charming chap named Swan. Swan is a unique super mutant behemoth who takes great joy in screaming his own name. I would recommend that your character is level 20 or higher, but because I'm an asshole, I'm gonna do this whole thing at level 14 in a pinstripe suit. I'm gonna give you some tips on how not to die. Firstly, keep your distance and don't get hit. Swan hits like the love child of a truck and an earthquake. Secondly, dodge the rocks that he throws like you're in the goddamn matrix. And thirdly, the trees are your friends. Be sure to use them to keep something between yourself and Swan. Now tips on how to kill Swan. Firstly, use explosives, lay a big group of landmines in one small area. Secondly, eat all the chems you can find in your inventory. Thirdly, use a long-ranged weapon like a rifle with a scope. Make sure your first attack on Swan is a sneak attack so you do extra damage. Fourthly, make sure that you pull Swan through the area where you actually place the mines. This technique has the potential to do massive amount of damage instantly. And of course, lastly, use your trusty old fat man. Although you don't really want to use mini nukes that often, I do feel that Swan is a pertinent encounter in which it is permissible to use at least one mini nuke. Once this ugly duckling has has been defeated, we will find the Furious Power Fist on Swan's body. Before we take a look at the weapon, I'd just like to clarify I have no perk effects applied, and I've also reduced all of my character's stats down to one, namely Strength, which affects the damage of all melee attacks. Having all my stats at one will give us all of the base stats of the weapon, base stats being the absolute minimal stats we can get from the weapon. I will be using the base stats of items for all of my guides, so you can compare the stats of items on a level playing field throughout my unique guide series. So now we have the Furious Power Fist, let's take a look at this sucker. In the bottom left we can see it has a base ballistic damage of 33, the speed is medium, the weight is 5.5 and the value is 545. Bottom left we can see that the Furious Power Fist already comes with the puncturing mod applied to it, and regardless of your level it will always come with a puncturing mod. And as we can see in the top middle, Furious Power Fist increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. A very interesting effect that makes the Furious Power Fist particularly effective on enemies that have a higher health and require you to hit them multiple times to defeat them, as you can continually build up to deal massive damage per hit. In general, the Furious Power Fist offers fairly high damage from punching weapon, but of course it can also be modified to greatly increase its punching power. It should also sadly be noted that the Furious Power Fist cannot be used in conjunction with power armor. I don't know who made that decision, but someone needs to be furiously fisted. And here's the Furious Power Fist in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video, I do hope that it helped you in acquiring the unique weapon, the Furious Power Fist. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen, that will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist, and you can select the videos you want to watch freely. Or, you can check in the description, where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guide videos that I upload. Also, with over $500 worth of prizes, be sure to enter Fallout 4's fan fantastic face-off. A link to that will also be in the description. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.